Christians carry on today the compassion and mercy of God. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus during his public ministry principally engaged in preaching of God's kingdom, healing the sick which included exorcism, discipling, working miracles and prayer. A careful reading of today's gospel reveals all these acts of Jesus. These ministries yielded response and very often the recipients and beneficiaries of the divine acts were inspired to follow the master. Jesus' healing restores us not only to health but also to active service, care for others, repentance and following him on the way. We have a number of examples in the gospel such as the healing of Peter's mother-in-law as we heard in the gospel. She immediately began to wait on them. Zacchaeus says, Lord, I will give my property to the poor. The Samaritan woman goes around inviting people to meet the Messiah. Blind Bartimaeus began to follow Jesus on the way. The Acts of the Apostles is the continuation of these ministries by the disciples, relying on the divine authority of Jesus. Just as Yahweh delegated the prophets with authority to teach and act in his name, so to Jesus shared his divine authority with his disciples and later in the church with saints. It is through the preaching and healing ministry of Jesus, the compassion and mercy of God carries on in the world. In order to be effective ministers of Jesus today, we need to make our own the spirit and authority of Jesus. They spring from prayer and knowledge of God. In order to be healed and be minister of healing, one must approach the Lord with expectant faith. The hallmark of discipleship and success of the saints in imitating Jesus can be summarized in the form of a personal prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you have all power to heal and deliver me from harm. There is no trouble or bondage you cannot overcome. Set me free to serve you joyfully and to love and serve others generously. May nothing hinder me from giving myself completely to you and to your service. Amen. <laughs>